Well, after a two week search for a missing Brownsville man who suffered from Alzheimer's, police confirm his body was found in Matamoros. Action 4's Tiffany Huertas has more on how other families can avoid a tragedy like this one. The last piece of information we received of the missing man, Florencio Hernandez, was that he was seen crossing into Mexico at this bridge. Tonight, that case is not closed, but the family has closure. Maria Hernandez is heartbroken after learning her father's body was discovered in Matamoros. I feel really sad, hurt. It had been 19 days since she last saw her father. 94-year-old Florencio Hernandez. His clothes was found to the side of him, a meter, let's say. We speculate that with the heat, he took off his clothes and laid down. On July 11th, Maria says she went to the bathroom and when she returned, he was gone. That same day, surveillance video shows Hernandez crossing into Matamoros from the Gateway International Bridge. No one hit my father. A few days ago, Maria learned her dad died in Mexico. A Mexican newspaper reported the discovery of a man's body and named Hernandez in its article. But police couldn't identify him until DNA was confirmed. My dad died of natural causes. On Wednesday, Brownsville police announced that they received confirmation from the U.S. consulate in Matamoros that a body discovered there was that of Hernandez. The identification didn't occur here and it wasn't done by us or any U.S. Uh, agencies. Brownsville police spokesman J.J. Trevino says there are two cases in this investigation. This case is going to be closed as far as the missing person. The, the actual cause of how he was found and, and why he was found and what the mother and stuff like that is completely separate and it doesn't pertain to us. Trevino says cases like these can be challenging. We can't go over there and try to investigate a case that belongs on this side. Uh, the only thing that we can do is maybe reach out to our to our federal counterparts and, and try to get their assistance. This is a very unique case for the department because of the circumstances surrounding Mr. Hernandez. I think something that we can take from this is basically um, for all our elderly folks and our disabled folks, we could maybe look into trying to get an ID. Still, Maria says they are at peace tonight. She says her father's body was found in a field by a store in Matamoros. I think there's nothing, nothing else to investigate because my father's body showed no marks or violence or nothing of that. Maria's happy she fulfilled her father's last wish. He was buried next to her mother. In Brownsville, Tiffany Huertas, Action 4 News. And the family of Hernandez held a service for him on Sunday.